Bookies offer 251 on Tony DeSicco replacing Mark Sampson. But he died three months ago. DeSicco was known most for leading USA to victory at the Women's World Cup in 1999. He died on June 19 in Connecticut of cancer at the age of 68, leaving behind four sons. But that didn't stop William Hill including him in their market on who would be the next England boss. It comes just days after Paddy Power included Hugo Ahiagu in the betting for the Birmingham job. Ahiagu passed away in April after suffering a cardiac arrest at Tottenham's training centre. England are looking for a new manager following the sacking of Sampson for inappropriate and unacceptable behaviour before he got the job. It's a decision which has been branded unusual by an employment law expert. Glenn Hayes, employment law partner at Irwin Mitchell, said, It looks as though they have taken a decision to dismiss him for doing things while with a previous employer, which I would say is relatively unusual. They have decided that's not the sort of person they want to be employed at their organization. I'm assuming that it's a trust and confidence type dismissal to say, we can't have this type of person working for our organization. It goes against the ethos of the organization. Sampson, 34, was recently cleared of any wrongdoing by both an FA review and an independent investigation into allegations of racism, harassment and bullying made by former England player Anna Aluko. However, in announcing his departure from the job he began in December 2013, the FA cited the findings of an investigation into allegations made prior to his appointment, although details are yet to be disclosed. Hay said, It appears to be very well guarded from the interviews I have heard. They have said, We expect a higher level of behavior at the F.A. which is fine, but it seems to me to be odd if you are dismissing somebody for past behavior while they are not in your organization. Hayes added that having worked for the FA for more than two years, Sampson could pursue a claim for unfair dismissal on the grounds either that the alleged misconduct preceded his employment, or that the accusations could not reasonably be cited as the cause of an irretrievable breakdown in the relationship between